Hey, this is Rob from It'll Be That 3D, and in my last video, I printed this guy. I like this, but I was talking to my friend, and I was like, what about if I went much bigger? You can see this guy's pretty big. I mean, it's like, probably eat me as is. I'm gonna probably go, well, I'm not gonna probably go, definitely going twice the size. So we're gonna go from this to this. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway, so I'm gonna give away this. You gotta like my video and subscribe to my channel and write a comment below so I know who you are. I don't know, this thing's worth some money. For those of you who are curious, I'm gonna be using my Prusa MK2S, no mods, just a standard size printer. We're gonna be printing at 0.25 layer height and with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Okay, so we're getting started here. We're using Hatchbox PETG filament. I was already really amazed at the size of these teeth and like how big it was coming out. First piece is done. Look at that thing. Huge, huge. I mean, you see the teeth next to my finger. And now we're moving on to part two. So let's print it up in four pieces. 24 hours on this print. Right now I'm picking the T-Rex's teeth like a dentist. Just trying to get them sharp. Also, get as much of this out of there as I can. Got this far. You can see I got this duct tape together. Three pieces for this piece, which before was from the 400 scale model, just one piece. But yeah, this thing is massive. I started printing the back piece of the jaw. I think that's gonna have to print in four pieces. After leaving it on the printer all day, I came home to this, which was just, this part was just stuck on the nozzle and it was just going around. God willing, I don't have that problem again. I'm trying to reprint that piece. And I wasted probably, I don't know, Eight bucks of material. Trash. I just had to cancel that print. It was just not sticking to the bed properly. I tried glue stick. It doesn't seem to be working good. I need the glue stick off. Just go Windex. I hear everybody say Windex for PTEG. 3D printing. It isn't easy. I think for the PETG I need to recalibrate the bed. Because I think it's hotter and everything's kind of expanding. This looks to be laying down nice. Okay, so I came into this, it said thermal runaway. Got a solid block of plastic stuck to the nozzle. Um, I'm gonna try to turn it on and heat it up so I can at least get this plastic block off the nozzle head. I thought we were getting a good print. It started out fine, and then it kicked off the bed for some reason or other. I'm going to work here just taking this thing off. Uh, I really ended up having to take everything apart. Uh, it was a mess, and I had to like hit it with the heat gun just to get it off. I thought maybe I could save more than I could, but end up having to cut that thermocouple dangling right there. Okay, so luckily I had another hot end from when I did the multi-material upgrade. I've just swapped that out. Looks like things are working okay. I'm gonna now try to reload some of this now. I got a couple parts that melted down. Yeah, you can kind of see this right here. That got attached to the nozzle and then it just pushed the thermocouple off of the nozzle itself and eventually caused, caused the fault and it totally destroyed the thermocouple. I'm never gonna get it out of there. So I just cut it, and I'm chucking it into the garbage. I think my issue is bed adhesion of the PETG. I'm gonna try to do better with that. Right now I gotta print another one of these pieces. I'm gonna have to duct tape this on for right now. So 
basically I, I got my printer back together to the point that I think I can use it to print some new pieces that I need. I, I basically destroyed this piece and this piece. Duct tape fixes everything, getting it taped on there. It held up, which was nice. All right, it's back working, printing out the, uh, the replacement this part and that part. I forgot to adjust the live Z and it was way different and it scratched the bed here a little bit. I'm gonna do about that, but not really much I can do. I guess I'm just gonna keep on printing. Okay, so I got these white pieces on here now. Replace these broken other pieces and melted when the whole thing melted down. Throw that out. Threw out the bad hot end. It's all messed up. Just don't want to deal with it. I'm just tossing it. I decided to scratch the bed and really clean it really good afterwards. And um, I think maybe that might give me some more grip. You can see that is gonna be the size of the lower jaw, which is absolutely freaking massive. <laughs> gonna be so cool when it's all done. So after a lot of trouble, I realized that I was extruding at 210 degrees for some reason on PETG. Uh, which was causing all these defects and I think it was causing the part to warp and it wasn't it just wasn't really printing that well I turned it up to 230 uh, I think I'm gonna have a successful print here after three tries I duct taped it to the bed <laughs> just just because I thought that might help it might have helped I don't know I'm now starting to print the final jaw pieces I've got pretty much everything done. So this came out in many pieces, but you can kind of get the idea of this last piece that's missing. So it's on the printer right now. I'm gonna then glue this jaw together. It's gonna be awesome. Nerd out. I had three failures on this piece and I made such a dumb mistake. I sliced as PLA instead of PET, and my temperatures were way off. This caused the whole thing to lift off the bed, and basically I even broke my printer. Don't ever do that. See the cracking here? This is when it was printing at 210. What I'm gonna end up doing, I don't wanna throw this piece out because it just took, I don't know, 20 something hours to print. I'm gonna take the epoxy and just rub it right in there and all the cracks and stuff. Should give it good strength plus a smooth finish. Nobody will be the wiser. Except for you, since you watched this video. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to win that skull!